Nicole Kidman has almost never played it safe. She's used her high-profile status as a glamorous actor to work with some of the cinema's edgiest directors. Sometimes this commitment has worked for her and sometimes it hasn't, but you have to give her credit for not taking the easy route. Destroyer is the most extreme example of her willingness to immerse herself in a transformative role and she gives a remarkable performance in what is, unfortunately, a not quite so remarkable movie. She plays Erin Bell, a Los Angeles cop. Her story is told in two time frames, the present, in which she's an alcoholic, tired, burnt-out wreck, dressed in shabby clothes and clearly despised and barely tolerated by her colleagues on the force. We also see her 17 years earlier, when she was ambitious, attractive and focused. What happened to change her so radically is the theme of Karen Kusama's narratively muddled thriller. In the present, Erin is there at a murder scene. The victim has been shot dead, and close to the corpse are dollar notes stained with blue dye. To the other cops who really don't want her around, Erin mutters that Silas is back. Silas, Toby Kebble, was, we discover, the leader of a gang of bank robbers, and 17 years earlier the younger Erin and her partner and lover Chris, Sebastian Stan, had been assigned to go undercover and infiltrate Silas's group. Something clearly went badly wrong back then, and in the present, Erin is determined to track Silas down. To do this, she goes down some very mean streets and meets some very nasty characters, but she appears willing to do anything to find the elusive Silas. On paper, this sounds like ripe material for a suspenseful thriller along the lines of heat. But unfortunately, Kusama is no Michael Mann, and her regular screenwriters, Phil Hay and Matt Manfredi, have served up a narrative that's just a bit too tricky for its own good, so that at the end you could possibly feel frustrated rather than elevated. And yet, the film has to be seen for Kidman. In the scenes set in the present, she has so transformed herself that at first she's hardly recognisable. And it's not just a case of skilled makeup. She inhabits this damaged, bitter, wasted woman in all kinds of physical and emotional ways. It's an extraordinary performance. I'm giving Destroyer three and a half stars. Thank you.